Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of uh, andrewsfootball.com. I'm kind of going casual today. I'm wearing my How to Pick Up Chicks t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> every now and then I go a little casual with t-shirts, sometimes the polos, which are my favorite article of clothing. Sometimes you get the dress shirts, maybe even a suit later on, but right now the most important thing is the awesome hat. It's funny because I get called cowboy quite often, but I'm furthest thing from it. Anyway, I got a great video coming up because I'm going to break down Thursday Night Football for you nuts. However, you got a special, uh, you got some special action coming in and you get some special advice here from the college side. Uh, I have a, there's one of the biggest games of the year, uh, Alabama's traveling to LSU and I think this is an excellent investment opportunity. Uh, first of all, LSU is a 15 point dog at home at night in Death Valley. Uh, for those of you who don't follow college football uh, very often, Death Valley at night is, is something special. It, it, it's something really, really different. Uh, it's a different type of environment and and I really, really feel strongly that LSU could very easily win this game. And you have to understand something here. Per ESPN, uh, they have the college football uh, playoff rankings. LSU is third. All right? Uh, the AP poll and the, and the coaches poll both as LSU fourth. So you got top four team in, in the country – they're at home in one of the most hostile environments. LSU Death Valley at night for a primetime game is different than LSU at noon, but LSU Death Valley is one of the hardest places to win. At night, it's different. It's even tougher. Now, Alabama is doing something phenomenal because unlike most years, they have a dynamic quarterback, and, and what they're doing is amazing. And I could, I could talk about the legacy and, and how much I love dynasties and how you're watching something 25 years from now. You're in a comment on go, man, Alabama, wow. But here's the thing. They only have one win versus a ranked opponent, and that's Texas A&M. Where uh, LSU, on the other hand, has has uh, four wins against ranked opponents, three wins against top ten teams, plus they had a bye last week. So uh, with all of that, just jump on fifteen. Here's how I would recommend it: you're you're going with a thousand dollars. If you really don't have a thousand dollars to to go to Vegas with, then you know, be smart. That's another lesson for another day. But as general rule of thumb, let's say you're using that thousand dollar bankroll, put five hundred on this game. Here's how I would bet. I would go ahead and I would take four hundred on fifteen. Uh, right now, that's negative one ten, and I'm using the Westgate app, and and that would win you three sixty three sixty four. Now, I would take 100 and put it on the money line, which is just betting LSU to win straight up because it's 500. 100 will win you 500. And, and so if they do win, which I think is a really good possibility, you're just going to clean up. But let's say they just cover. That's no big deal because you're, you're still going to be up. Uh, well, I think I did my math wrong here. I, I, I You know what? I did do my math wrong here. I put down 663.64, but it should be 763.64. Where is it just 663? Yeah, let's see, you're minus one, so then. Okay, but basically, you, you, get, you get what I'm trying to tell you is that even if they just cover, but take a small part of that and roll the dice because you're getting five to one odds on a, on a team that's ranked in the top four. And so this is how I would bet the game. Uh, take 400, put, no, no, I was right, 663.64 if they just cover. So it's a good investment. Now, for the area of expertise, uh, and I will offer my expert opinion on this game, is a very, very good game, even though the general public won't believe so because it's, it's with a 1-6 in six versus a 1-17. in 17. But this is really a fun game, and I'm really looking forward to watching it is uh, the Raiders travel to uh, San Francisco. Uh, because they're both California teams, I think you're going to see 
Uh, the home field advantage uh, it not doesn't really apply for this game. I think you're going to see just as many Raiders fans. I can tell you for a fact, Raiders fans actually travel quite well, and and you know they're within the same state. 49ers fans um, are are you know actually California fans in general are are famously known for just being bandwagon jumpers. Uh, trust me, everybody in California now now associates with being a Rams fan. Nobody cares about the 49ers. So I think you're going to see a lot of silver and black in that stadium. I, I don't think it's a home field advantage at all. And that, and that I think that is important when putting action on this game because for this game, you, you, 49ers obviously are going with a backup quarterback. He's questionable. It's really rare – that when you don't know if the starting quarterback is going to play, that you're favored, especially especially when both teams have the same amount of wins. Uh, that's what makes this game a little unusual. Uh, but what I really like is the dynamic. For those of you that don't know, um, John John Gruden coached the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, starting a safety. Uh, oh no, I had a brain. Here I am. I'm on camera. John Lynch. <laughs> That, that's very embarrassing. John Lynch, who's general manager of the San Francisco 49ers, was a starting safety uh, for John Gruden's Super Bowl team. And it's really funny because they're, they're both building the team uh, very similarly to how they built their, the Super Bowl team. Lynch is doing the exact same thing Tony Dungy did in building it up through defense. While here's the deal, uh, Gruden didn't really build the Tampa Bay team. He built the Raiders, and they were on the cusp of uh, going to a Super Bowl when, when the tuck roll happened. That's a different story. But what he did is he built it through offense, quarterback, uh, running game, veteran receiver, solid offensive line. And if you watch, he used his first-round pick on a left tackle who can operate the West Coast offense very similarly to what Andy Reid did when he first came to Kansas City. So Gruden's building his team his way through the offense where uh, Lynch is building his team through defense. So it's going to be a very fun matchup because uh, Derek Carr last week did play pretty well against Colts. Uh, and Colts are undoubtedly not a, a great defense, but still to me that's important. While uh, San Francisco's defense is beat, beaten up, there is some young talent on that team. So for me, I'm watching the Raiders' offense versus the San Francisco defense. I really want to see how they progress against each other because those are the strengths of the teams. And, and really the way that these two teams are building uh, their rosters, uh, I really think that these two teams in the next – either even as quickly as next year, uh, one or both of these teams will, will be uh, – looking to get into the playoffs. But I think in the next two to three years, both these teams are going to be doing really, really well because they're building their teams the right way. So now I personally wouldn't put action on this game, but if you are going to put action on this game, the Raiders are a two and a half point dog. I would just take the money line at, at, at plus 120. Uh, no need to take the points in this game. I really think the Raiders are going to win this game. So every hundred that you bet, you win 120. And if you are betting that $1,000, I, I would really recommend not spending more than 200 on this game. You have a lot of injuries. Uh, rosters are, are really shaken up. Both teams um, are kind of in flux right now. So I really wouldn't put action on this game, or at least a lot of action. But if you are going to bet on this game, take the Raiders straight up. You know, plus 120 is a good number for a team that is – quote unquote the road team but they're not really the road team not only that they're playing against a team where the quarterback may not even play it's a game time decision so go ahead and just take them straight up now if you haven't already there's this little button on the side there look down there in the corner it's a little subscribe button bam hit that button become one of the greatest people on planet earth and until next time